Let me try that again. Happy Sabbath, everyone. It's good to see us out this AY, for our AY program. I know we're after a late start. We were out, you know, impacting the community as we have our evangelistic series starting today. And it's my hope and trust that you all be here in your numbers night after night, online and in person. So now the church isn't exactly full right now, but I know that it will be full as we go for the next two weeks. My name is Kaden Campbell. I'm just here as your host, you know, for a brief moment, just to ensure that everything runs smoothly. And I pray that you'll be blessed for the afternoon. We have Key Influence and One Creation who will be leading out this afternoon. I know that they have something wonderful planned for us. And I know that this evening will be extraordinary. We'll be fired up to start the new week that is to come as we continue to walk with Christ and be real with him. I now invite us to just stand where we are. 
We're going to bow our heads for prayer, invite the presence of God with us so that he can take full control for the evening's proceedings. Let us pray. Dear kind and compassionate Father, we give you thanks for your goodness and your mercy towards us, for how we have been worshiping from morning until now, and the privilege to be able to impact the community so that for the next two weeks, souls can be blessed and watered and born for your kingdom through the leading of your evangelist, Evangelist Vernal. I pray now that as one creation and key influence leads out, they will not be seen or heard, but you'll be high and lifted up and your Holy Spirit will lead in a marked way. And when we would have come to the end of this sitting, we'll be closer drawn to you and more enthused and energized to continue to stay real with you and to bring others to a saving knowledge. Thank you now for hearing and for answering our prayers and how you will lead for Christ's sake. Amen. So before I take my seat, I'm just going to share the running order with you. We're going to have a wonderful song service. I know we'll all sing lustily, Sister Smichael, right? As key influence leads out. And then we will get to hear from One Creation as well. And later on in the program, we'll hear from Evangelist Vernal. And if you tuned in this morning or you are here in the courts, we heard a, a powerful message from him. And I'm sure later on it will be no different. I only ask that you do not fall asleep. You sit up straight, take notes if you have to, and pay keen attention to what is going to be said or sung so that you will get that word, Brother Chef. You will get that song to keep you, hey there, my friend Andrew, for the new week to come. It is really wonderful to see you all, though. This is, this is looking good. And I pray that the part finders will get here soon and all the persons that we've been inviting get here soon as well, and we'll be blessed. Thank you, and I know hand over to key influence. Happy Sabbath, Brayton Church. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Well, you know, sound all that happy, but I know you're feeling happy on the inside. Let's show it on the outside. Happy Sabbath, Brayton Church. It's a good time to sing praises unto the Lord, is it not? It's a good day. It's Sabbath. We're here. We're blessed. We have our hands. We have our feet. We have our minds. And we have our voices. And we have our hearts that we can use to give praise and adoration to our Lord and Savior. So we're going to do just that right now. We invite you to sing along with us as we sing some songs of praise and adoration. Something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. We are together again. Just praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Now I know you know this song. We're going to sing it again. Don't you sing along with us? We are together again, great son. Just praising the Lord. Here we Let's go. go. We are together again. Running down, it makes me 
Now, the next song we're going to go into, if you know it, sing along. It's one of the newish ones. The young people definitely should know it. But we sing your great name. We give him glory. Yeah, man. We give him a shake offering just like that. Hallelujah. Hey. Are you ready? It's very simple. It says, We love to Call your name, it's something we cannot explain That happens when we proclaim your great name Your great name We love, we love to call your name Call your name, oh, it's something We cannot explain we cannot oh, that, happens that happens when we proclaim Jesus, King Jesus, no other name, King Jesus, there's no stronger, we can call, that's when things change, things change, yeah, when we call on your name, we're gonna take it from the top, we love to call your name, we love to, sorry about that, call your name, is something, we cannot explain, that can happen when we proclaim your great name. Say your great name. King Jesus, no other name. King Jesus, it's not stronger. We can call on Things change when we call on One more time. Say King Jesus. Go 
Jesus, go, Jesus, go. We say, go, Jesus, go, Jesus, go. We want you to go into our situation, Jesus. Sabbath again, everyone. We're going to be doing a set of songs. So a while ago we did praise and worship. Did we enjoy praise and worship? Were we praising God with praise and worship or it was just us up here? Well, if you weren't feeling in the mood to praise and worship at that time, we hope that with the rest of the songs we're going to do that you will find a space where you and God can commune. It's not necessarily about what's happening up here. In the evangelistic series, it's about reaching out, right? But before, but before you can reach out and, you know, evangelize to someone outside and bring them in, we have to make sure that the heart is right. Amen? We have to make sure that we are communing with God because we don't want to be preaching and then we ourselves be a castaway. Amen? So we're not up here to just sing and sing good we're up here so that we can invite you to this place to a space where you and god can commune together so the next song we're going to do is entitled i shall wear a crown i shall wear a crown that's my testimony and we can say we shall wear a crown i won't say it for you you have to say it for yourself but I shall wear a crown that day in glory when he comes. And I was talking to Anna Lee earlier. I was talking to Anna Lee earlier in the car. We are key influence. Today we introduce yourself already, right? Key influence and one creation. We are one creation and we have key influence, the band. And I was talking to Anna Lee earlier and I was saying, I am determined to go to heaven. Yeah. It makes no sense. Oh Absolutely no sense to stand up here to sing and to minister, say I'm ministering, and then in that bright day, I am trembling and running for the hills. So I am determined. And today I was blessed at church. And I pray that you will be blessed by anything that happens right here. So I shall wear a crown.
All right, so we're passing the time again, right? So we just already realized that we're looking forward to wearing our robe and crown. Don't you? But on that journey to that day when we're going to wear our robe and crown, holy patriots, holy patriots, the Bible tells me that already, you know, the Bible says we are going to get trials and problems and things. But there's one thing that we know. We have this confidence that whatever it is that we go through, Jesus will come through for us. Amen? So, whether it's a door that you need open, whether it is a bill that you need paid, whether it's a school fee, a car note, that promotion that you need, whatever door you need, that Jesus will open that door for you. Jesus will.
during the song check.
that brighter day. We're looking forward to that day. And as we travel along this earthly corporal existence, big fancy words because I went to university, as we live here and now and continue to exist, we have daily trials, daily tests, daily situations that cause us stress. Amen? Yeah. Sometimes you're not as up as you want to be. Sometimes you're a bit low. I myself have been going through a bit of low season. But this next song that we're about to sing, them, them usually sing it at either Thanksgiving service at the end of the year or New Year's. Because we're grateful for every mountain that God has brought us over. Hallelujah. Amen. We're grateful for every trial that he's brought us through. Moments when we thought, listen, God, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Moments when you're like, you know, I don't think it makes sense to continue existing. Because there are people out there who experience that deep depth of sorrow. Whether it be that you're going through a divorce, whether it be that you've lost a family member or a friend. But somehow you make it to the next day and the day after that. And God continues to bless. He continues to restore. He continues to heal. He continues to comfort and console. And so even when you feel as though you can't make it through, you still make it through. And we're here today because he's brought us over those heavy mountains, those big mountains. We thank you, God.
evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Trust and hope that you are being you have been blessed thus far. Amen. For every you brought me, for this I give you praise. And for this I will be short. Amen. Amen. For our Vespa thought, I'm inviting you all to turn your Bibles to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11. That's the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11. And we will be reading just one verse. Amen. If you find it, say amen. The Bible says, Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after you will help me to do the Vesper thought. So let us pray. Father in heaven, we truly want to give you thanks once more for your words. So as we are about to close off the Sabbath, we pray that your Holy Spirit may tabernacle us in the midst. And so as the charge go forward tonight, I pray that somebody's heart may be convict and converted. Thank you for answering and hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Cast thy bread upon the water, for thou shalt find it after many days. Now there are two classes of teaching of this text. You have the prosperity side and you of the prophecy side. I oftentimes use the prosperity side, but to this evening, we will be looking at few key words, and that's the charge. Amen? So the Bible said, the first word, cast thy bread. What is bread in prophecy? We are Adventists, you know. What's the bread in prophecy? The word, I want you to remember that. Upon thy waters. What's what, what is water in prophecy? People, crowd, multitude, right? Days in prophecy is? Hears. So we are going to rewrite that scripture. Amen? So come again. Cast thy, thy word upon thy people. For thou shalt find it after many. Listen to me, somebody. That there are many persons that we have been working with for years. That we have been encouraging to give their lives to God. And we haven't seen any result. We haven't seen any, any changes. We, we haven't seen any progress. Uh, but our duty as God's people, as what Jesus encourages us to do, he said that, this gospel of the kingdom must be preached unto the world as a, as a witness, then the end. So our main duty as Christians is to preach. And through the working of the Holy Spirit, we will see results after. So the text here said, cast the word of God upon God's people, for those shall find it after many years. There are persons that we have been working here with for weeks for months, for days, for years, and we haven't seen any result. But it is not your duty to give up. You don't get it, you don't get it. It is not your duty to give up on anybody. Continue to preach, pray, encourage these persons, because after many days, we shall find the result. Sometimes it is after we pass, the result come to fruition. So as I encourage us, I imploring us, that as we go through this upcoming campaign week, that you may continue to encourage that husband. That you may continue to encourage that wife. That you may continue to encourage that children, or those children. That you may continue to pray for some family members and friends that the work of, word of God may come to fruition in their lives. So I implore you and I encourage you. Cast thy word upon God's people for those shall find it after many days. I invite pastor to close us off in prayer.
Okay, let me invite you to stand, everybody, from everywhere. And even those who are watching online, I invite you now to get into the attitude of prayer. New idea. Cast your, the word of God upon individuals' hearts, and you'll find it after many years. I've never seen it uh, like that before. Thank you so very much. I almost say Pastor Headley. But Sir Edley is not a pastor. He is a medical doctor in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the making. And so we pray for the gentleman. Not many doctors can stand up and deliver the word like he did this morning and even this afternoon. We are proud of you. Proud of you. Proud of you. Your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed. Our Heavenly Father and our King, we pause at the end of another uh, fulfilling sabbath day lord to give you thanks for your presence with us from morning lord it has been a blessing being in your house uh, receiving the bread that comes from heaven receiving your words your encouragement the fellowship lord it has been a wonderful day and we thank you and you praise you now as we stand on the verge of a brand new day and a brand new week we ask even now lord that you will guide us that you will protect us as we not only face this untried week, but as we go through the week. We know there will be struggles. We know there will be temptations. We know there will be difficult moments. But we know that when we have God with us, everything will go well. And so we are inviting you into our hearts one more time. We are inviting you into our families one more time. We are inviting you into our plans one more time. Have your own way, sweet Holy Spirit. And ultimately, Lord, when we get back here for another Sabbath, may we come rejoicing because of our, the blessings that you've lavished upon us. We pray also, Lord, that you will be with us as we have embarked on this very important campaign. Father, so far we sense your Holy Spirit. We ask, O oh God, that your Spirit will continue to manifest himself every night, tomorrow night, as we gather here for another uh, dropping of your words. We pray that the Holy Spirit will come down. Your, your Spirit will empower your manservant, your spirit will work with the team and everything will go according to your will. Oh Lord, thank you again for this wonderful opportunity. And now as we prepare to go, may you go with us and may Lord you help us to remain faithful to you at all times and in every situation. For we pray this prayer with thanksgiving. Let everybody say, Amen. Amen. Wanted to say a big, big thank you to Key Influence and One Creation for being with us for AY this evening. Want to say thank you to the members and visitors who are here in the courts and those of you who are online. I trust that we were really blessed, right? Can we get a big amen? Amen. No, let's try that again. Amen. Amen, amen, and thank you for the evangelist Vernal who gave us that word just a moment ago. And we just continue to pray up as we go through this campaign. Going to invite us to be out physically or online throughout this week, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So tell your friends, tell your family. If you're going to come straight from work or school, no problem. We might have a little soup or crackers over by the you know kitchen to just refresh you as you come. But you just don't want to miss it. As we focus on the theme, being real with God, I will go. And if we continuously are real with God, Sister Sophia, as we've been saying from morning until now, then we can be real for Christ and bring others to him. So I just encourage us to stay even closer to God as we see the, the days approaching for his soon return. Let us stay faithful. Let us keep it real. Have an awesome, awesome week. And walk good, everyone. Thank you.
Yeah. 